Hi, today I'm continuing on from where I left off yesterday, and that was starting to do some wiring for under the staircase. So first thing I needed to do was some cleanup, and then set myself a little workstation. I got the soldering iron out. In fact, it's been such a long time since I soldered. Well, the dead giveaway is I've been living in Finland 10 years. The soldering iron, I used it last time in Australia. There's the Australian plug, thankfully, the adapter. It'll work for me here. I'm gonna get started, and the first thing I'm going to do is, actually I did get started a little bit already, so I've cut off the controller, and what I'm gonna do now is just clean up the end here. This needs a little bit of tidy up, warm up the soldering iron, and just desolder those globs of solder and take those wires off. Then I'll be able to put a new plug on there in a little while. So now I'll see if I still remember the hot end from the cold end of the soldering iron. Yeah, I would say off to a good start with the soldering iron. Uh, next, uh, I will actually take this strip and split it into three sections. So each section of this Philips Light Strip Plus is around 32, 33 centimeters long, and I can fit two segments under each step. So this two meter length, it'll split up into three pieces. I'll do some more desoldering right now, and that will give me three treads worth. So just separating the first two segments, and I was actually trying to desolder them so that they both would come apart. And I realized well, I don't actually need to do that. Okay, I just need to cut it flush on one end where the scissor marks are, and then I have on the other end some solder points to attach my new plug and wires to. So this could be a lot faster and quicker than I thought. Now I have my three strips, three steps done. What I will do is try to solder some plugs on the end, and then I will put another plug on the end of this controller, and then I'll seal that up, and then I'll be able to test each strip as I go along. So I'll actually test it before I install it into the steps, because I wanna make sure that my solder work actually works. Okay, my first bit of tricky soldering. I've got the little connector on there. I think by eye, it looks like all the connections are not touching each other. I think it looks okay. I'll give it a beep test now. Well, that's a good start. It passed the beep test with the multimeter. Tomorrow, smoke test. I'll put some power on this, see if it works. You'll just have to wait. Let's try it tomorrow. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, bye.